Yung measurement, hindi na yan bago. Baka iniisip nyo, bago yan eh. Kasama na yan dati sa 2010 framework. At pinagkaiba lang, naka-incorporate siya or naka-lodge, naka-baon, nakasama doon sa financial statements elements. Kasama na yan doon dati. Ngayon, ang ginawa lang, hiniwalay siya. Okay? As, a measure, as another chapter. O tara! Discuss natin yung measurement. Take note na inannounce sa 2018 framework ang measurement basis ng mga asset or liability. And generally, dalawa sila. Ang pinakakilala, historical cost. At yung isa, ang tawag mo is current values. Ooh, dalawa na sila ngayon na Nakagrupo na sila sa historical cost. So, ano sa yung historical cost? O ito, it refers to the price of a transaction. Okay? Price to ng transaction that gave rise. Gave rise. Gave rise sa unsell to the item measured. So, ito yung, ito yung ano, amount basis mo. Uh, upon the recognition of that asset. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng historical cost. Naintindihan po ba? So, ang historical cost sa asset, bumaba ba ang historical cost ng asset kapag na-impair? Tatandaan niyo yan. Sa liability naman, tumataas ang historical cost ng liability pag naging onerous. Di ba? Pag may interest, tumataas ang value ng liability. Okay? So, yan yun. Ano pa yung mga application ng historical cost? Yung mga certain financial asset mo or financial liability mo is measured at amortized cost. Di ba? Pero yan, yung amortized cost yung ayaw na ayaw mo. <laughs> Gumagamit ka ng effective interest method. Saka na yun. Okay? May some separate topic for that. So, yung tawag dyan, historical cost. Now, sir, ano naman yung current value? Yung current value naman, it reflects what? The updated balance. Pag sinabi mong current value daw, updated balance. Anong updated balance, sir? To reflect what? Conditions. Conditions at, at measurement date. Kadalasan, ang measurement date, reporting date. Kadalasan na, generally. Pero hindi lang reporting date. Now, under current values, marami mga values na minention ang framework. Una, Fair value. Pangalawa, value in use. Okay? Sa text, meron siyang isa, fulfillment value. Okay? Next, meron siyang isa, current cost. Hmm, kakaiba to ah. Okay, sir, anong definition ng fair value? Okay, fair value, para maintindihan mo. Price, na willing kang tanggapin, receive, para makabenta ng asset. Okay? Or price, willing ka pa rin. Happy face, willing na bayaran. Okay? Paid. Para magkaroon ng liability. To incur liability. Yan. Okay? Tapos, sino yung willing? Saan daw? Dapat daw orderly transaction. Sino ang involved? Market participants. Pag participants, gagawin kong people ha. <laughs> Market participants. Kailan? At measurement date. Yan daw ang definition ng fair value. Ayun, may naririnig ako. Sir, parang familiar yung definition ng fair value. Tama ka. Yan ang definition ng IFRS 13. So, ang ginawa, siguro in-update yung conceptual framework para ma-align dun sa accounting standard. Fair value is defined as the price that you are willing 
to receive from selling an asset or price that you are willing to pay in incurring liability in an orderly transaction between market participants at measurement rate. Pag sinabi mong orderly transaction, meaning may active market. Market participants, meaning may existing market. So, para dun sa mga nakakatanda pa ng definition ng fair value ng mga arm's length, arm's length, please, pakitanggal na yan. <laughs> Be updated. Dahil hindi na yan ang definition ng fair value. 2013 pa. Wala na tayong mga arm's length, arm's length transaction. Na hindi niya po? Okay, next. Value in use and fulfillment value. Sir, ano naman yung value in use and fulfillment value? Yung value in use, entity specific yan. Sir, ano ibig sabihin ng entity specific? E di kinumpute ng entity. Ano sir yung entity specific? Current expectations. Mm, so ito yung mga amount determined ng uh, entity about the current expectations related sa amount. Next. Timing. Next. Uncertainty of future cash flows. Yan ang ipig sabihin ng value in use. Take note ha, ang value in use ginagamit sa assets. Ang fulfillment value ginagamit sa liability. Please take note of that. So, fulfillment value is defined as entity-specific current expectations about liability regarding the price or the amount, the timing, and the uncertainty of future cash. Okay? Next, current cost. Sir, ano naman po yung current cost? Uh, yung current cost, ito yung current amount. <laughs> Uy, di akin galing yan. Galing yan sa framework. Current amount of what, sir? You are willing to be paid to acquire an asset. Mm, yun palang ibig sabihin ng current cost. At saka you are willing to receive to, to incur a liability. So with regards to the current cost system natin or current cost accounting. So yun ang definition ng current cost. Ayan na. May mga bago na tayong definition ha. Ay ba yan? So punta tayo dito sa letter, ah sa letter, sa number 4, elements of FS. Kasi parang kanina, hindi ko ata na ibigay sa inyo sa, sa elements of FS yung definition ng income at saka expenses. Ang nabigay ko lang definition ng asset, liability at saka equity. So ano na ba yung revised definition ng income? Actually wala namang ni-revise yung pa rin. Ganito siya o. Oh. Increase in assets, decrease in liability, or a resulting increase in equity. Okay? Yeah, yan ang sinasabi niya. That results to increase in equity other than contributions of owners or holders of equity claims. So, lagay natin, other than capital contribution. Yan. Uh, ang, bagong, ang bago lang ginamit na term ngayon is contribution of holders of equity claims. Yan yung bago. E di ba ang holders of equity claims, ang tawag mo dyan dati, owners of business. O yan, yun lang yung nagbago. Pero yan pa rin yung definition niya. Increase in asset, decrease in liability, increase in equity, other than capital contribution. At tinanggal na yung mga ano, probable flow of future economic benefits. Wala nang ganito. Ay, hindi ang ba? Okay, sa expenses, ganun din. Decrease in asset. Increase in liability. That results to decrease in equity. Other than. So, meron pang other than din. So, ano po yung other than? Other than the distribution naman. Kung merong contribution, merong distribution. To kanino? To holders of equity claims. Ang haba, no? Sir, hindi ba pwedeng ano na lang, capital owners na lang? Okay naman. Pero dapat matandaan mo na pinalitan siya sa bagong standard ang nantawag sa kanila. Holders of equity claim. Naiintindihan po ba? Okay. Next. Sa expenses, baka lang makalimutan mo sa expenses, merong tatlong klase ng recognition for expenses. Hindi naman siya nagbago. 
Tandaan nyo na lang yung basketball player na si Asi Taulaga. <laughs> okay. Ano yung tatlong basis ng pag-measure or pag-recognize ng expense? Letter A, associating cause and effect. Yan. Letter S, systematic rational allocation. Tandaan nyo yan ha. Umalabas yan in the board. And letter I, immediate recognition. Sir, anong ibig sabihin po niyan? Uh, ganito, yung associating cause and effect, matching principle. Naniniwala sila na may expense kasi may income. Or therefore, kapag may income, dapat may expense. Naininiyan po, katulad yan ng mga delivery expense, cost of goods sold. Diba? Kaya may expense dahil may income or may na-generate na revenue. Yung S, systematic rational allocation, Uniniwala sila na may expense ay in-spread over the period of time yung isang value ng asset that is subject to amortization or depreciation by, the, by way of passage of time or other cases. Katulad ng depreciation, amortization, effective interest in securing loans. Yan yun. Yung I, immediate recognition, nag-recognize ng expense kasi wala ka ng dahilan. <laughs> wala ka ng choice. So, katulad yan ng salaries ng mga owner, president, ng mga staff, hindi ka naman nagre-recognize ng expense na naghihintay ng income eh. Ganun ba kayo? O guys, wala muna sa sahod ha. Kailangan kumita muna tayo. Hindi, di ba? Papasahurin mo sila whether you earn or not. So, that's what you call immediate recognition. Okay? So, wala ganun nagbago na with regards to the definition of income and expenses. So, okay. Thank you.